Hi, good evening, Corey Thorne, spiritual healer, psychic medium, and empowerment life coach. Um, I'm doing the monthly readings for all of the zodiac signs, and um, this is the first time I have done them individually. I usually do just some channel messages and post those, but I've decided to switch it up, and I don't know how long I'll be doing them for, but I'm trying it out, and I have about three more to go, and tonight, Sagittarius is the one that I'm doing right now for the month of January 2019. Please remember that my readings are not to be taken in uh, to replace any medical or psychological or scientific or uh, legal advice. It is meant to be taken lightheartedly and as a form of entertainment. I am professionally trained as a life coach and I do help people move from past situations and into living the best life possible. That is what my work is about. And so uh, I do bring through a channeled message. I am not an astrologer. So what I'm doing is I'm choosing all of the zodiac signs and tapping into the into the dates, into the time, and kind of the collective of people that belong or, uh, you know, a group that, you know, kind of belong in this time and just asking what they need or what they need to hear. And um, what's coming what's coming up is always even a surprise to me. I never know until I start. I always use, I often have my cards with me and I do shuffle them. I get many decks that I'll be using and they're all decks that belong to other people. They're not my decks. And so it's my interpretation of the cards as it comes and suits the, the message that I'm getting, not the message that is, um, not the message that is in the book that comes with every card. So for my Sagittarius, the first thing that kept coming to me was that uh, sense of freedom. Like you need, you just feel as if you need to be free. You need to, um, almost, almost as if I can feel wings. <laughs> it's like, where's my wings? How come my wings haven't come yet? I've been waiting for my wings. I don't want to be grounded. I don't want to be, it's like, I want to be flying. And of course, being a fire sign, you're being very affected by the whole, um, I feel like you're being affected by um, the, all of the energy that's coming from Aries being, uh, Mars being in Aries. Um, and you're being very affected by this. And, and so um, it's just like you have this drive to get going, a drive to get kind of flying, like you want to lift, you want to kind of shift and move yourself out of where you are, but there's a little bit of a, uh, a reason why you want to do that. I feel like somebody's kind of bugging you. Somebody's getting on your nerves uh, as if somebody has kind of trapped you into, I don't know if trapped is a word, kind of conned you a little bit into investing or buying something or, and I feel like this is a partner saying, you know, we really need this and da da da. And now you're worried, like you're worried financially, you're worried if you're going to still have a job you're worried about that kind of stuff so it's like um somebody has trying to convince you try to or somebody convinced you that we need to do this now we need you know it would be good for us if we do this now It'd be good for us if we spend this money blah 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 and it's like now you're panicked now you're worried so you just want to fly away you don't you just when it comes to having to worry about those things you're like oh i don't want to have to do that i don't that's not me i don't I want to just, I, I want it to live the free life. I just want it to be free and just do whatever. So you've kind of been challenging through that a little bit. Not saying that you're leaving your partner. You're just pissed off at your partner. Or you're just kind of pissed off at yourself for, for not trusting your own instincts on making a choice to say, you know what, we didn't need that right now. Um, it's not suiting us. So I do really feel as if there is a sense of some kind of not, not financial struggles in as if you're going to lose everything, but financial struggles in this that, Money is not growing and manifesting as fast as you would like. More is going out than more is coming in. The raise is not coming. The, you know, you might have been promised a raise, but times are tougher. So the, so the money just haven't been there. Or you just haven't, um, or you haven't advanced as quick as you want because the business is not growing as quick. And I, I know that's not the greatest of, of things. It's like, I want to tell good things. But it just, that's, it's like, uh, it's become a burden. It's like, you've just been carrying this around to worrying and worrying and worrying. And, um, I don't know exactly when things are going to get better. I don't, I see this year being kind of an up and down of that all the way around. So this is a little farther 
into the year that I'm picking up that you're struggling through this. Um, but there is, there is, there is the upside of this. The upside is, is that you're going to stay stable. You're not losing everything and that things are not going away. Um, there's a stability in this. It's just it's not the, it's just not the peak and grow that you wanted it to be or that you needed to be so that you could financially sit comfortably type of thing. And it's like, um, if you're, if you're in the process of being someone who's talking about selling or moving and getting rid of your house and da, 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 that's not a bad thing. It's that, you know, it's, it's that whole building up more, like adding on to the debt, bringing more debt in. You don't, don't want to make this a, a month or next few months. I want to say, don't make it January, February, March, where you add more debt on. Don't, don't contribute to it. It's about bringing it down so that you can feel like you have that freedom again, not about adding on. Uh, somebody who has a very curious mind. You're curious about you're curious about whatever else is out there for you. It's like, oh, well, I've been living this life long enough. I, maybe I'm ready for a change. Maybe I'm ready for something new. Maybe I'm ready to take on a new move. And uh, this could be somebody who's kind of thinking that maybe, maybe it's time to kind of, kind of move to a whole new town. I want you to chill out, calm down. You don't need to go in January. <laughs> you can start looking. You can start looking around, but as you can't go in January, it's like when you go, it's like because it's a fresh start. The fresh start needs money, and so you need money to do the fresh start. And when you do go, it's going to be it's going to be a big adventure, and it's going to be wonderful. It's going to be great. But it's like you need to be able because you're starting like beginner mind. You're starting over when you do go, and when you make that decision, it's going to be a whole different world. It's like you you've been kind of um, guard it, protect it. I'm doing this because something is affecting my back. I'll get to that message. It's like something else is coming in here. Um, You've been guarded and protected, and you've been kind of wearing that, uh, wearing that kind of protection for a long period of time now, because you didn't want to have to face some things. You didn't want to have to face some reality. You didn't want to have to kind of start over. You didn't want to have a beginner's mind. But I want you to remember, as if I tell all my other people, all the people that I train, is at this point in our lives, at, at a middle point, wherever you are, and you've already created all that, you're not going back down to the very basement starting over or past the, past the bottom floor. You're starting at a foundation that you've created in the middle area. So at the beginner mind starts there, not from all the way down, not from down to not even know how to walk. You're not having to learn that over again. Uh, you're just having to learn how to just be real. And do what I, I'm also kind of picking up a, um, a sense of a disagreement like um, and I feel like this is over money and if you and your partner have been fighting over money it's because one of you is spending too much and it is time to bring uh, finances bring finances uh, back into check but start you know start with start with just taking care of all of the um, all the small bills first. Do that. Like you, you can't kind of starve out your family. You can't go without so much that you don't have anything coming in. This is about you knowing that you, you're, you're stable. Things are oh, cards upside down. You're stable. Things are okay. But now you're tending to the small things. Mouse bears about the little things. Tend to all the little things while you're still sitting here waiting for that move to happen. Uh, there's a. I just keep grinning because I just seen, I just seen like a, a, a synchronicity moment happen, like running into somebody or seeing somebody you haven't seen in a long time. And it's just like you walk in somewhere and they're there and you go, oh my God, I wasn't expecting to see you. Like it's just that sense of how, how did you end up here? Why are you, why are you? Why did this happen? Why did this moment happen? Uh, it just feels like it's like a, an ending and a beginning type thing. Like you needed to see each other or you needed to kind of reconnect for just, just so that you can just know that you're both okay type of thing. It's not, it's not always here for us to go back. If we see somebody, don't mean that's what you need to go back to. You've already, you know, you've 
already lived that. This is this is something you've lived. You don't have to relive it again. But it's like running into somebody or or somebody contacting you or something like that that you've already been there. And it's like, um, mm, okay. So the not going back because you've already been there is the safe route. It's the safe route. This is this is the kind of a leap for leap of faith type of thing. And this is for this, I feel this is for somebody single. You're going to meet somebody who you've met before and you all of a sudden run into them and it's like instant love that you've probably never seen before or you had before and now it's back again or something. But it's like, you're single, why not? Why not take that chance? It's just like this love is all around you. And I got a little smirk, a little grin because I'm like, this seems like it's so kind of, like, oh, can I really go here again? Can I do this again? And you're chuckling at yourself and said, I'd never do this again. And I didn't want to go there again, but it's there and it's facing you. And it's like, um, uh, almost as if you both have big personalities. You both, you both carry, I, so possibly two fire signs, but I feel like you both wear crowns. Like you're both the, that crowning glory, that crowning light. Like you both have something that make you strong personalities that make you both stand out that make you both kind of like, and I, this might've been what separated you before. So you probably weren't mature enough to handle whatever that relationship was at the time, but you are ready now. You can do this. You can, you can have that beautiful kind of relationship because you've matured enough to be able to take it on. If you are single and this is what's happening, it's okay to take, it's okay to go there. Why not go there? Why not try it, try it out? Who knows if it's going to last forever? We don't know what forever is, but it's there. It's looking at you and it's like flying into your life, like your freedom, like you want to be free. You want to, you want something that's free. And this person matches that type of freedom. This person makes you feel like oh, I can do this and I can, I can be free. Um, and you're curious and you're very curious of what's involved and what's, and what's going to be there. But this also comes back to don't forget your finances. Don't come back to, don't forget to take care of your life. You still have to take care of your everyday life. Don't get caught up in, in taking care of just like falling in love and forgetting everything else that's happening around you. You, you do have a sense of being kind of flexible, but concerned type of thing. And um, so this meeting that's happening or this comeback for someone in particular, single, I think uh, is just a sense of that love is all around. And spirit, quality spirit, spirit has the plan. So spirit's going to tell you what's happening. And the seahorse spirit, watch and wait. Just watch and wait what's about to happen. It's like something is about to happen. That's so funny, so cute. I love it because it just feels so cute. It's just so lovable how you just kind of try to avoid each other and not going there, not even looking at each other. We're not. And not and it's like it just comes together and it's and it's beautiful and it's wonderful it might not be another fire sign it just feels like someone who has a little has a bigger personality so who knows it could be a scorpio it could be you know it just it it's somebody who just got that about them that you you both kind of had to go your own way you had to do your own thing you had to discover something that was beyond um beyond the maturity of what you had at the time that you first met and it's like just go with it. Why not? But I keep seeing also the sense of somebody, like I said, uh, being angry at a partner or pissed at a partner that that you were that somebody's overspending. Somebody's kind of trying to keep up with the Joneses. That's it. Trying to keep up with the Joneses. Somebody's trying to keep up with their friends, or they want everything because they just want to keep up. And if you're the one who's trying to keep up, stop it. Because what of you? is what of you that needs to be healed. And if you're allowing this in your house or if you're allowing this in your world and it's like you're trying to be, you're trying to just keep up with everything. You want everything. You want everything to be there. It's like it's time to kind of face what is bringing you there. What is taking you this? And this is snake's bear, which is time to heal. What, what of your past brings you into not feeling worthy enough that you need to pr prove it in the material world or the external world. And and this might not be like a house or something. This could just be, you know, just trying to keep up with people in the way of just trying to be enough for them, trying to do enough for them, trying to just, I'm always trying to, you know, always trying to please everybody or I'm trying to make them feel like I, I need to be accepted. I need to be loved. And it's like, 
um, why do you need the validation of your worth? Why do you need to, to validate that you're worthy? That's something that you should truly start to believe in yourself that it's already there and you're shedding the skin, you know, shedding the old skin so that you're exposed to the pink, that, that vulnerable pink, so that you can see and heal what it is that continues to bring you in to not feeling worthy because you Sagittarius is a strong sign and Sagittarius usually you know strut with confidence and you're not you're not moving with confidence and I keep seeing John Travolta <laughs> I keep seeing John Travolta and I'm like who who in here has a love for John Travolta and you know that Saturday Night Live or is it Fever Saturday Night Fever whatever it is that, that dance movie and stuff and I just see John Travolta in the white suit and I'm like who is it who's here that loves that or loves Greece and it's like you're probably secret watcher you're probably someone who secretly watches these shows and it could be male and you're like I don't really watch those shows and but you really do it's like that type of thing and it's like I just keep seeing movies 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 like these 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 kind of older movies now that are fun and um could be the Bee Gees, it could be, but that John Travolta time, so it's like that, Michael, like those type of movies that where there's just this kind of oozy, sexy John Travolta type of thing in there, and I don't even know what his sign is, but he's in the freaking reading, but it's somebody who does that and wants it, and it's like, or watches it, and it's just like, okay, let's just, let's just stay inside and watch this movie, so let's stay inside and do something kind of cheesy and fun, and Let's, uh, instead of going out and spending that money, let's do that from home type of thing. And it's like uh, setting yourself free of, setting yourself free of, of always setting yourself up for the, for the burdens and worries that you keep placing on your own life. And the card that come out, I'm doing the romance cards. And the card that come out is let go of your control issues because you're trying to control so much of trying to make the money come faster, the money is not going to come faster. You're going to stay stable. And then later in the year, there is going to be money coming. But right now, stability, stability, stability. It's all around you. And then the person that, that the, whoever that's calling in about somebody showing up in your life, it's like, that was your soulmate. This is the reason why you're showing up again, is that this was your soulmate. And it's like, you deserve the love and the soulmate. And that this is, this is your time to... Um, this is not showing up by accident. Nothing kind of shows up by accident. It's something to seriously consider not walking away from, making a choice to kind of explore it a little farther, see where it goes, because it has been worth waiting for. It has been worth waiting for, and it makes me laugh because it just feels so fun. It feels like something that's a fun relationship. Who knows, it might be a friend that you haven't seen forever and all of a sudden you reconnect. But I feel like it's more love related. I feel like it's more somebody that you might have been friends with, but now when you see him, it's more re relatable as in a relationship type thing. And it's maturity, it has to do with maturity. And it could be, oh, like I said, it could be friends, but I'm not, I'm not feeling so much that it's just a friend-based thing. So it could be friend turned to romance. Um, and the last card that I'm pulling out is from the Mother Mary deck. Trust. Trust the money is going to come. Trust that things that you're going to get your debt paid down. Trust that there's that the not spending is is serving you well and it's being seen and it's and it's working for you. That in a few months you're really going to be coming forth in a much more beautiful uh, financial abundance. But you have to still keep holding on to the flow and the abundance of what you do have and uh, don't don't get too tight with it. But still, just live. Make sure you live. Make sure you, you know, you you go and you have all the fun that you can. Um, have compassion. You know, there's just this sense of um, the compassion comes in like that others' viewpoints, and, and and also in forgiveness. Like you're forgiving, you're forgiving the person or the partner, whoever whoever it is that's in your life that that kind of is contributing to your financial thing and is that person equally feeling like as i'm worthy is it both of you that's trying to always climb the ladder or is it in is it you who's just trying to climb the ladder it's like just rest you're 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 not at the bottom you're you are midway and it's okay to be here you don't need to be all the way to the top right at the moment until you to figure out what it is that keeps you from the worthiness what is it that makes you feel as if you don't deserve what you have that keeps bringing you into a place of self-sabotage or that other person is in that place of self-sabotage 
And the last card to come out is, is boundaries. And I feel like these boundaries are creating the healthy boundaries around, around yourself and around your habits. And to be very careful of what your habits are and uh, what you continue to continue to go to. So whether you sometimes, when you get stressed, you actually go out and spend more money. So you go shopping or you go out and you gamble, that type of thing. It's like, can I start really restricting um, restricting the spending in those places and know that that's, you know, that could be a treat that you go out, but you know, spending every dime shopping or, or going and spend every day, every dollar at the casino is not going to bring love and light into your life. And it's not going to bring healthy. You're here to bring love and light into your life. And this is uh, a time to kind of sit in whatever you need to sit in, uh, enjoying the friendship, enjoying the things that don't cost money, but also having a serious talk. If you if you're in a relationship and you're and you're both sinking, it's time to have a serious talk about what your material needs, why you're fulfilling your material needs with uh, with all of this stuff instead of dealing with the sense of not feeling worthy. And why do you need to feel this? Why why do you need to validate to everybody that you have enough? Um, also, one last thing that's really coming up for me with the with the Sagittarius is a sense of loyalty and who have you been loyal to and if you're if you've been loyal to a company or loyal to uh some friendships and it's like you tend to have a sense of loyalty when you want to um but sometimes people do enough to you that you have to make a choice to walk away and um that could be in a job but i feel as if Maybe you've been searching for something. Maybe you've been searching for a new, a new company to work for or something like that. And it's kind of, I feel like something is coming that takes you from that. So, so that you don't have that kind of arguments and stuff in wherever you're going. Don't be rigid with, with, your one, with your one way of thinking and that you're right and that you're the superior being and that kind of thing. And that your, your thoughts only matter. Allow yourself to kind of be open-minded open-minded because there is something in the job that you're in there is something there that's kind of that um that's bothering you but is it is it you deceiving you that's really the issue because that's what it feels like to me it's like you're so rigid you're so stuck it's you deceiving you set yourself free move forward and then the fragment and where do you want you know and and what comes for me instantly with this card was being ghosted. Somehow being ghosted is what comes. Um, and when, you're, when, you're, when your views and your words and your thoughts don't matter, that's the ghost of picking up. Like they just don't acknowledge that it has value and, and what you're saying in like, we need to be careful and we need to not spend. So it could be in a corporation of business, anything like that. It's like, um, tend to put yourself in places where everything that you say and do is it has value and people are listening. Don't spend, don't spend any more time wasting your time, wasting your breath on people who don't want to listen and people who don't want to improve their lives. You make this full circle as you have to sit in some of the kind of ups and downs, make it about you though, because the money will be there to make everything that you need. It will provide everything that you need to get through this year. You're going to be okay. You don't have to over pinch and save. There's always, there's always money coming in for you. And I was just trying to see it because I see money in a safe somewhere. It's like you have money stored away or somebody else that's related to you have money stored away. And I don't know if it was being hid from you or if you forgot about it, but go search for that money because it's there. And not that you have to take it and blow it, but just know that there is money. And just so you can validate that you know and you see that there is money in your life and that everything will be okay. February, March type of thing is where the money starts to flow again and starts to come in. It's not so much in January. And this is a, this is a general reading member, so you might not fall into this at all, but it's something that I'm picking up. So have yourself a wonderful Saturday. I am doing this like late at night. It's 1.30 now. And... Um, I am chat I'm getting off and letting my channel go to Celeste, go go to rest and I'm gonna go to sleep. Uh, so have a wonderful Saturday, a wonderful January, and I look forward to seeing you all in February. Bye bye.